Steve, what's that thing there you're messing around with? Well, Billy, this is AI Grandpa Steve's motherboard. I've decided to upgrade the AI inside the Dimension Hopper. And so, I'm going to throw this old, outdated software out the tr into the trash. Wait, so no more AI Grandpa Steve? No, no more AI Grandpa Steve. I've got something much better. What do you mean, no more AI Grandpa Steve? Oh, um, nothing. Grandpa Steve, where are you taking my motherboard? Uh, nowhere. Um, sorry, AI Grandpa Steve, but... We got ourselves an upgrade. Yay! Wait, wait, no! Grandpa Steve, why have you done this to me? Grandpa Steve. All right, just a few more tweaks, and there we go. New AI installed. But isn't Grandpa Steve gonna be, you know, dead? Nah, Billy. I'm sure he's fine. His name's Billy! He's traveling all around. His name's Billy! He's going from town to town. His name's Billy! Gonna knock you to the ground. Billy! The Dimension Hopper! You know what, Billy? I'm really starting to like your little Russian sidekick here. He's starting to grow on me. He might not be that bad. Hell, make, maybe it makes me think Russians aren't that bad either. Really, Grandpa Steve? Yeah. You know, I had a ton of sidekicks back in my dimension hopping days. Wait, you were a dimension hopper? Of course I was a dimension hopper. Where would you think I got all this crap from? You think I just made it for the good of my health? No. I was a dimension hopper for 40 years. I had 25,000 different sidekicks. Met one of them the other day, Winston. One of my favorites, definitely in the top 200. Anyway, so you and El Pequeno, you know, you're not getting old of them, like bored of them? I had about 10 sidekicks by the time you were at me now. You're still on your first one. No, El, El Pequeno's cool. I mean, I, I wish he could talk more, but, um,. I like, I like him the way he is. Mm. I don't know, kid. Maybe a sidekick that can talk would be pretty cool. Anyway, time to go give you uh, another dimension to travel to. I'll let you think about the idea. Don't worry, El Pequeño. I'm not like Grandpa Steve. One sidekick's good enough for me. Wh wh why are you nodding? Okay, then. I guess you can't really talk, so maybe that's your only way of speaking. Hey, you know, at least we can communicate now. That's pretty cool. Th seriously, it's the only thing you do nod. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Continue. Hey, Grandpa Steve, when the hell are we getting out of here? This place is freaking boring. Just pop down, sonny boy. You're about to leave in about ten seconds. Ten seconds? But I have to go... I, f I forgot my toothbrush, Grandpa Steve. Six, five, four, three, two... <laughs> Thank God they're gone. Now I can eat my guacamole and watch Friends on Netflix. Where the hell is this place? Got any idea, El Pequeño? That's what I thought. Hey, who that who that goofer goofer over there? I have waited my whole life for this. Excuse me, sir. What what are you doing? <laughs> that that's a pit. There there's a pit there. Um, you're you're gonna die. Excuse me. Yeah, sir. Th there's a pit that is humanly impossible to jump over. You are right. I won't jump. Awesome, dude. I'm so glad to save you. Thank you, sir. What is your oh, name? My name's Billy, you silly boy. And this is El Pequeño. He's Russian, by the way. El Pequeño is Spanish. 
Oh my, why do people keep saying that? He's not Spanish, he's freaking Russian. I know where my sidekick's from. Have it your way. Anyway, I'm glad I could stop you from jumping and killing yourself. I'm glad also. What are you people? My name's Billy and I'm a dimension hopper. Dimension hopper. Sounds fun. Oh, it's really, really fun. You should, you should try it, man. What, what's your name, by the way? My name is Jeffy Jefferson. Oh, Jeffy. Well, here you go. Here's a mini dimension hopper for you. And uh, I guess that makes you a dimension hopper now. I'm a dimension hopper. His name's Jeffy. He's traveling all around. His name's Jeffy. He goes from town to town. His name's Jeffy. Gonna knock you to the ground. Jeffy, the dimension hopper. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Billy. I will never forget you. Oh, bye, Jeffy. Well, I hope Jeffy has fun. Wherever the hell he decides to go. Anyway, Albert Kenya, let's get back to our adventure. Billy the Dimension Hopper. Welcome to my dimension. At least the one I reside in currently. What the fribble frazzles? Who the hell are you? Billy, calm down. I am the narrator. I am one of the most powerful beings in the cosmos. I see all. I know all. Well, if you're so smart, Mr. Mister, what's the square root of nine million? Oh, Billy, the square root of nine million is obviously three thousand. Holy guacamole! You really are an all-seeing god. Yes, Billy. I, like you, can travel through dimensions. But I'm not a dimension hopper. I am simply a god. There are many of us powerful beings throughout the cosmos. And I have a job for you, Billy. Your mission, so you choose to accept it. Ha, <laughs> he's making a freaking... <laughs> mission Impossible, that's what it is. Mission Impossible reference. Yes, Billy, indeed. Now, you have gifts you don't even know, Billy. But I am willing to share all the knowledge in the universe with you. So, Billy, do you accept my offer? To become a god, like me. You just have to do one thing. There are many evil beings in the cosmos. I need you to destroy them all for me, Billy. Oh, I've defeated Smiley the Egg. Smiley the Egg was not a cosm... Was not one of the beings of the cosmos. Simply... Simply put, he was just residing in one dimension... He was just a mere demon. The beings I speak of are much more powerful, Billy. Much, much more. And now, Billy, I shall share all the knowledge of the universe with you. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not ready for this. Man, your brain really does not take up a lot of knowledge, does it? Oh well, I'll wait. Oh my gosh. I can see all the knowledge of the universe. It's so freaking cool. Indeed, Billy. This is one of the most badass of gifts you can ever receive. Now, join me in destroying the cosmos gods. I'm sorry, Mr. Narrator, but I'm not sure I can take on those guys, you know? So uh, I'm just gonna have to go. Billy, I share the knowledge of the universe with you. You cannot leave. Billy, you're forgetting. I am one of the strongest beings in all of the cosmos. You cannot escape from me. Oh, please, Mr. Narrator, I, I, I don't really want to take a part in all this. I respect your decision, Billy. Let me take all of that knowledge away from you. But Mr. Narrator... Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I lost all the knowledge, didn't I? Indeed you have, Billy. It would seem you're not ready to become 
a higher being. Stick here to your dimension hopping. It's what you're good at. All right then, I will. Billy, what you don't understand is that you are part of an ancient prophecy spanning over many millennia. Really? Is it a cool prophecy? Hell yeah, it's a cool, a cool prophecy. It's the best one out there. The prophecy reads that... Oh, come on, tell me, tell me! No. Never mind. You're not ready to find out. The time will come, Billy. And you will know. You will be ready. Until then, continue on with your life. The prophecy will fulfill itself in due time. Aw, oh, man, why do you have to be so cryptic? Before you go, Billy, I must warn you. A great evil is coming. Not today, not tomorrow. But when you think you're safe, something is coming for you. And you are the only one that can stop that evil. Goodbye. By the way, viewers at home, I teleported him with my mind. Yeah, I can break the fourth wall. I'm a cosmic being, aren't I? Anyway, enjoy the show. Aw, oh, crap. I forgot about you, El Pequeño. I can't leave Billy's sidekick that all the fans love behind, can I? There we go. Job done. This is a boring episode, isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm just setting up, setting up stuff for the future. Hey, let's go to Jeffy. See what he's doing. Where am I? Jeffy, this is the narrator speaking to you. Who is the narrator? Don't worry, I'm just an all-seeing, all-powerful cosmic god. Anyway, Jeffy, you are a dimension hopper, and seeing as you do not have a grandpa mentor type, you know... Teacher, I shall be your voice inside your head along this journey. Well, thanks, I guess. Now, seeing as you, we don't have Grandpa Steve's, you know, di devices, you won't know about this. Um, what, what the hell's your name again? Jeffy, you won't know about this. But the viewers at home will. Viewers at home? Yes, you d just shush. Um, I'm going to give you a sidekick. Uh, hey, boom! <laughs> Oh crap. Alright, there we go. Your sidekick, Jeffy Jefferson, is called One-Eyed Flash. Say hello to him. Hello, One-Eyed Flash. Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. My name's Jeffy Jefferson. How are you today, One-Eyed Flash? I'm Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. Is that all you can say? I'm Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. Indeed, Jeffy. All he can say is, I am the Flash. Now, enjoy yourself with your badass sidekick. And from now on, I am no longer talking to you. Goodbye, Jeffy. Thank you, Jiminy Cricket. So, one-eyed Flash, where shall we go? I'm Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. You've said that already. Hello there, Jeffy. It is I, your brother, Sethy Setherson. Sethy Setherson? I am Jeffy Jefferson. Don't get muddled up in the names. We are brothers indeed. Who is this delinquent that comes with you? His name is One-Eyed Flash. Well, Jeffy, I'm your evil brother. <laughs> and I'm going to kill you with my master plan. Master Plan? I don't think so. One-Eyed Flash, use your power. I'm Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. What is he going to do, Jeffy? I'm your evil brother. He is powerless. <laughs> the pain, the agony, it is too much for Sethy Setherson. You may have won this time, Jeffy, but I'm going to escape. <laughs> so, 
So your power is summoning shoes? I did not see that. I'm Barry Allen, and I am the Flash. You have said that already. Next time you say it, I'm going to kill you. I'm Barry Allen, and I am the... Hi, Grandpa Steve. We're back from our adventure. I can see that, Billy. What are you watching there, Grandpa Steve? Nothing, nothing, n not friends on Netflix while watch while eating guacamole. De definitely not that. Shut up, boy. I, I wasn't saying that, Grandpa Steve. Jesus, no need, no need to be so defensive about things. Shut up, boy. If I, if you tell anyone so much as a mouse fart about this shit, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, Grandpa Steve, I'm sorry. It was just a joke. God, God, God. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Anyway, um, we met this cool guy who said he was an interdimensional deity, and that I'm part of a freaking. Freaking, what's the word again? Oh, oh crap, it's, it's uh, a prophecy, a prophecy, that's it. Yeah, so yeah. Well, that sounds lame. It wasn't lame, okay? We saved this guy from committing suicide, so that was pretty cool. And he became a dimension hopper. That's, that's still pretty lame, Billy. Just, just letting you know that's lame. Okay, Grandpa Steve. No need to be so negative. All right, Billy, I'm gonna go get back to watching Friends. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke. Your love life's the your way. And it's, you know, I was stuck in second gear when it hasn't been a day or week or month or even your year, cause I'll be there for you, but not you, Billy, because you suck. When the rain starts to fall, I'll be there for you, but not you, Elbe because you're Russian. When the hell have I been there before, I'll be there for you. Not you, AI Grandpa Steve, because I threw you in the freaking trash, because you're there for me, too. Yeah. All right, see you, losers. I've got no strings to hold me down. I've got no strings to make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. I've got no strings on me. I'm coming for you, Grandpa Steve. I'm coming.